That's it, I'm done. This is the last take. Have you ever had one of those weeks? I just had one of those weeks. <laughs> it took me six times. This is the sixth time I filmed this. I've had rain, I've had people mowing lawns, I've had camera failures, I've had all my footage deleted on the SD card after I got inside and tried to edit all. Anyway, we're gonna get it this time. We got this, we got this. Let me start off by saying thank you to my sponsor, Backcountry, for sponsoring today's video. So today what we're gonna talk about is winter layering, even though it's technically fall. Naturally, you wanna go backpacking, am I right? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna walk through my layering system, and this is the actual stuff that I bring out, and we're gonna walk through the Dan Becker layering system. This isn't like the end all be all to layering, okay? There's a lot of different ways you can do this. This is just what makes me comfortable. But this is it, last time I'm filming this. If this doesn't work, you're probably never gonna see this video. How would you know if you didn't see the video? First off, let's just start off by talking about materials or fabrics. So there's really two different sort of types of fabrics. You've got your uh, man-made fabrics, you know, your synthetics and your nylons and that kind of thing. And then you have your natural fabrics, like your down and your merino wool and your cotton and that kind of stuff. I know there's a lot of other fabrics out there, but uh, anyway, you get the point. I want to just tell you straight out the gate, if you're planning on wearing cotton, uh, maybe you're gonna bring some jeans or a cotton sweatshirt or something along those lines I would encourage you to leave that stuff at home because what cotton does is it gets super super heavy and when it's wet It takes a long time to dry out. So what I do for layering is I'm kind of different than most people I like to double my systems of layering. So just in my normal daily routine I always wear a t-shirt and then I wear something over it uh, and it just it's just more comfortable It's natural for me to do that. So lately I've been into like merino wool it's a lot warmer than the synthetic clothing I've been wearing and I think the synthetic stuff is probably better for summer or the warmer weather um, At least in my experience it has been. I use a merino wool base layer. Uh, this just happens to be the cool Scar sweater. It's just a long sleeve almost like a t-shirt material, but it's hundred percent merino wool for some reason merino wool uh, holds in heat and even if you sweat in it, uh, something to do with how it handles bacteria, but it gets rid of stench, which is nice, very nice for you and the people you hike with. Now, if it's not gonna be like really cold, I usually wear my North Face quarter zip. Um, I like quarter zips as the other base layer that I wear. So the North Face quarter zip is what I use. Or sometimes I opt for this Smart Wool 250 Merino Wool quarter zip. This is really warm. This is about as warm as my fleece. So oftentimes you can neglect the bottom half of your body when it's cold out. I mean, we really, really remember like to wear the big jackets and to stay warm and the hats and the gloves and that kind of thing. So what I do is I bring these here. This is the Mountain Hardware Type 2 Fun Fleece. And yes, they are fun. They're basically long johns, but they don't look like them. So if I really need to, I can walk around camp in these and it's not gonna be that big of a deal. They're not like super form fitting, if you know what I mean. They've got pockets, they've got zipper, they've got even a pocket on the side here if you wanna you know, stick a phone or something in there and that kind of thing. But then even on the inside, it's got this really, really cool grid fabric here that holds in heat um, and it even pulls away the moisture from your body. This is a synthetic, um, I believe this is polyester, really warm, really nice, I really like this a lot. And then what I wear over the top of that is just a pair of hiking pants. These are the cool Renegade convertible pants. I am a big fan of convertible pants. Plus in the winter time, these unzip at the bottom. And so these can easily go over a, a big boot and I can zip them up to make them nice and tight. Almost acts like a gator in a way. Let's talk about the jacket that I'm wearing right now. This is the Patagonia Micro Puff Jacket. This jacket is a synthetic jacket, but it looks and feels exactly like down. It's extremely lightweight. It weighs just over nine ounces and it packs down really, really nicely. This is the Arcturix Atom LT. A little bit heavier than this jacket, but it's also a little bit warmer. This does have the hood on it. I have had this on uh, down in the mid 30s with just a t-shirt underneath and lightly moving around not really sitting around but lightly moving you know just kind of maybe walking here and there I was actually pleasantly surprised with how warm this jacket was and how well it performed so in some situations just like I double up base layers I like to double up my mid layers as well and I feel like that still gives me more temperature regulation so I would wear this jacket for instance and maybe I'll throw this jacket over the top of it but this here is the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisper jacket I'm sure you guys already know about this jacket really popular jacket mine is the hooded version weighs about eight and a half ounces or so 
but um, really, really nice jacket. So I'll use this as a mid-layer as well. Everything that you see in this video can be purchased at Backcountry. So one of the coolest things about Backcountry is that they love to connect people with nature. They believe that anyone is capable of enjoying outdoor experiences, big, small, near, far, and they want to help inspire customers to have their best experiences outside, recreating and enjoying open spaces. Backcountry has hundreds of what they call gearheads, and they're available like 24 seven via chat, email, phone, and they're there to help you find exactly what you need for your next adventure or activity. These guys are like former Olympians, they're athletes, they're guides who have tons of experience and knowledge and can steer you towards the best gear for your needs as well as process exchanges and returns and provide all kinds of updates on order status. Make sure you head on over to backcountry.com to find all of this stuff. Use the coupon code DAN15 for 15% off of your order. This is the Arcturix Cerium SV hooded jacket. This is not a jacket for the faint of heart when it comes to price. This is definitely a premium jacket. If you are serious, you're gonna to wanna to look at this jacket. This jacket weighs about 14 ounces, but the loft on this thing is absolutely incredible. The other thing about this jacket that I really, really like is that not only does it have 850 down insulation inside of it, but it also has synthetic insulation strategically put in certain places that are more likely to get wet. Like for instance, when you zip up your jacket and you've got it over your mouth here, uh, this is all synthetic insulation in here from the moisture from your breath or down by the cuffs of your wrists here, synthetic insulation down here. And the other thing that I really like about this jacket, it is not constricting in the least bit. So sometimes you can get big puffy jackets and you feel like the Michelin man and you can barely move. This has a ton of movement. It literally feels like I'm wearing my Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer jacket. This, I would say on its own, could get you down to about 10 degrees and still keep you nice as warm, even if you've just got maybe one or two base layers underneath it. Fantastic jacket, high price tag, but highly, highly recommend this as a uh, mid-layer uh, or your top layer jacket. And then for a hard shell, most people are just gonna take a rain jacket. My rain jacket of choice is the Outdoor Research Helium 2. But if you're gonna use a rain jacket, you're gonna wanna size up. So if you're a large, you might wanna get an extra large just to be able to not have to compress the jackets underneath it. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna talk about your feet and a little bit of an option for you for like a scarf. I would talk about gloves and hats, but I think those are really personal. I'll just tell you really quick what I do. I wear, you know, fingered gloves in the three season weather and I do bring them in the four season weather as well. But in the four season weather, I'll also bring a pair of mittens and I'll put them over the top like a layering system as well. When I'm hiking, I wear Darn Tough socks. The brand is called Darn Tough. Really nice merino wool socks. And I like to wear thin socks when I hike. Big reason is thicker socks are gonna constrict on your feet and they're gonna take up a lot of room inside of the boot or the shoe that you're wearing. And it's gonna cause the blood not to circulate in your foot as well, which is gonna make cold feet. So I like thin merino wool socks because merino wool still provides a decent amount of heat. And then I always save a pair of really thick, really warm, puffy, you know, take them home. You can use them as a pillow practically. These are the Smart Wool PhD Hunt Heavy Sock. And I make sure that they are always clean. I never ever take these out during the day and wear them while I'm hiking. And then if I find that my feet are still getting cold, I'll definitely throw maybe a hand warmer or a toe warmer down in the foot box of my quilt or my sleeping bag. And then the only thing that I take honestly in the winter time and this may surprise some of you guys, um, is just a buff or a neck gaiter. This is just a tubed piece of material. You can use this like a scarf, you can use it like a beanie, you can use it like a balaclava, but if you double and triple it up, you can use it as a scarf around your face. And I've got hats that cover my ears and I've got the hoods and I've got the bag that'll wrap around my face when I'm sleeping. So uh, this is really all I take, even down into the really, really cold weather for my face and it's always done really well for me. But again, I'm kind of a warmer person anyway. All right guys, that's it. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you learned something. Um, if you did, give me a like. Also subscribe for more. Make sure you hit the bell notification so I can send you a video every time it's released and I will see you on the next one.